Hi everyone, welcome back to another macro tutorial. It's not going to be a full-on tutorial this time, it's going to be just a kind of demonstration on the Canon R7's amazing video capabilities when it comes to macro photography. The Canon R7 features an Ultra HD crop mode, which comes extremely handy when you want to capture very tiny subjects, such as springtails, which I have a few on there, on these leaves. I just briefly want to show you how to enable this Ultra HD crop mode. You need to, first of all, switch to video mode, then you will find this option under the movie recording size on the first page of the first menu. You can only use the the 4K crop mode when shooting at 50 frames per second, so make sure that in the second row you select 50p, also choose IPB for best image quality. I already spent several hours the last few days trying to capture them, and I'm also making a short macro film, so feel free to check that out as well. I will leave a link in the description and also at the end of this video. All right, let's get back to the settings now. So once you enable the Ultra HD crop mode, I also suggest that you enable the so-called enhanced digital image stabilization, because it's gonna punch in even more and uh, you can create a super narrow field of view that will allow you to fill the frame with super tiny subjects, such as a globular springtail, which can be less than a millimeter. I wanted to show you how the field of view changes when you enable these settings. I took these short clips of a small statuette in my studio. All of these were taken at the maximum magnification with this setup. This first one was the standard 4K without any digital image stabilization. The second one had the standard digital IS enabled. The second last one was cropped even further with the enhanced digital IS and finally this very last one with the narrowest field of view shows the equivalent of 300mm focal length for a full frame body with the 1 to 1 pixel mode. Right now I have my Canon 100mm macro lens attached and I also have a yet unreleased 49mm 9 diopter lens from Nisi, which is essentially in the same ballpark as the Raynox DCI 250, which only has 8 diopters. So the magnification ratio is essentially doubled, a little bit more doubled in this instance. A couple more tips that I can give you. Oops, the magpie just flew over. Make sure that you shoot in manual focus and also disable the optical image stabilization, which can create a wobbly effect if you don't do that once you have a tripod set up. I'm also using a special LED light. Normally I use it at the highest intensity because we need as much light as possible. This is the Bowling P1 LED light, super powerful. About the exposure settings, the exposure settings uh, vary because of the ambient light as well. The aperture that I usually pick for videos with this particular setup is F9. This usually gives you enough depth of field at this magnitude magnification ratio. When it comes to ISO, I try to keep it as low as possible. That's why I'm using this uh, powerful LED in the range of between base ISO and let's say a thousand or so. With the shutter speed, I just keep it at one over 50th of a second. The Ultra HD crop mode can only shoot at 50 frames per second. So if you wanted to, if you have enough light, then you can also just use the 180 degree shutter rule and just bump it up to one over 100. I will also try to capture some water bears, tardigrades this week. First, I will have to collect some moss samples from the garden or from the local nature reserve. But for that, I'll be using the Laowa 25 millimeter ultra macro lens at the highest magnification of 5x. So keep an eye out for that video as well. Hopefully it will be successful and I'll be able to capture some really high detail footage of water bears. Don't go anywhere as I'm about to show you a short compilation of clips of several springtail species I captured in our backyard. I also have an educational video on springtails, so feel free to watch that later if you'd like to learn about these fascinating hexapods.
thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you are new to my channel you might also want to check out these short macro films next thank you so much again and catch you very soon in the next one